Hello, this is Arthur Hill with StockTarts.com and you're tuned into a video edition of the Mailbag. Today we're going to show you how to add an indicator to an indicator and in particular we're going to add a 10-day moving average to RSI. So first we start with a basic sharp chart and this sharp chart shows SPY. It's a bar chart and we have 10 period RSI in the indicator window. Now if we want to add an indicator to RSI, we need to scroll down to the indicator section and that's just below chart attributes and overlays. And there you can see indicators RSI 10 period. And note, you can position this indicator behind the price, below, or behind another indicator. So if we want to add an indicator to RSI, we need to first click the Advanced Options. So when we click Advanced Options, we're going to get another window. And there you can see this window is attached to RSI, and so we can add an overlay to RSI. And I'm going to click Simple Moving Average and I'm going to change that to 10 periods. And then I'm going to go back over and I'm going to click Update. Now when we look on this chart you can see that we have RSI with a 10-day moving average. And it's very easy to see an upturn we had there in June and then downturn in July, downturn in August, and then an upturn in September and now we've got a downturn. And that concludes this mailbag video on how to add an indicator to an indicator. Thanks a lot for tuning in and have a great day.